All right, let's do some more cool stuff in Vim. You guys already know about the command mode in Vim. It's the mode you access by pressing the colon on your keyboard or shift semicolon to get that colon function. You can see how my cursor went down here to start typing a command. And there's a lot of built-in commands you can run here specific to Vim. You can create a new tab, you can close a tab, you can split your screen in different ways. But if you type an exclamation mark first, you now have access to all of the commands in your shell. So let's say, for example, I'm writing a program that does something with my network, and maybe I need to reference the IP of one of my adapters. You might be tempted to just spawn a new shell, do an IF config, and then, you know, read all the stuff from there. But you can do it directly in Vim. Just type IF config, and you see the same exact thing spawned right down here. And this shell is practically all the same features as spawning an independent shell on its own. You can do a double exclamation mark to repeat the last command that you typed. You can also do tab auto completion. So if I type IF con, I can hit tab and it'll give me the fig to complete my IF config command. And you can even use pipes. So if I wanted to run this IF config, I might want to pipe it into grep and grep for the keyword inet because as you can see here, typically all you want from an IF config are these inet lines because they have your IP address and your network mask. Generally, this is the data that we're actually interested in getting. Well, I can just do that uh, if I type it correctly, grep inet. And then you see that I have that grept output right here in my shell. I can even direct it to a file. So if I wanted to call it like, I don't know, some file.txt. And then I can open that file that has that exact same output right here inside of Vim. Another cool thing that you can do if you're actually writing a shell script in Vim is to run that shell script directly from within Vim. So you can see here, I've got this um, shell script here. I can run it with just three characters. So all I need to do is type my colon and then my exclamation point, then a space, and we can use another cool feature in Vim, which is to refer to this file name using the percent sign. And then if I hit enter, you see that it just ran this script. I guess it's actually four characters if you count the uh, space as well, but still that's gonna be a whole lot faster than spawning a new shell. And then you might have to change to that directory. You don't have to do this with Vim. It automatically knows what directory you're in and then go ahead and run that command. And another cool thing that one of my subscribers recently showed me, I think his name is Noku Doku. I hope I'm saying that right because I really wanna give him props. He showed me how to do something um, in Vim that I thought I could only do using ST. So this actually will allow me to continue using URXVT and get that same ST function, which was the copy output patch. And what that does, if you don't know, is it just allows you to copy the output of a command without using your mouse because the real reason that I use Vim and window managers and all this stuff isn't just to be a cool kid. It's not just to have a super low RAM usage, but it's also to avoid using the mouse as much as possible because mice are bloated and inefficient. So you can copy the output of a command in Vim, just enter command mode, and then type the letter R, that's a lowercase r, and then your exclamation point, followed by the command that you want to copy the output of. And let me actually do this on a new tab so that we can see exactly how it functions. So I wanna do R, exclamation point, IF config, grept into INET, Bam, it just pasted that directly into my Vim prompt. And it actually 
does this in a more efficient way than copy output, for me at least, because this doesn't copy the shell prompt and it automatically pastes the command and it runs inside of Vim. So this feature is going to be agnostic to the shell that you're using. This will work in ST, URXVT, Fish, whatever shell you want to use. So once again, shout out to Nokudoku. Thanks for putting me on to this feature. And share this video because if there is some stuff that I'm still learning in Vim, I bet other people could learn a lot from this as well.